Today, several delays from all parties trying to delay the inevitable that the late Ken Okoth is indeed and was the father of the son of Anthumbi. However, today all parties did come to court and sign a consent to confirm that the paternity is not being contested. Our client as a single mother, despite her personal struggles, has fiercely protected her daughter, her son. We are grateful to the court for coming to a conclusion in this matter. Let it be known and let it rest that Ken Okoth did leave an heir. That is all. As you are aware, we did three samples of our tests, one in Kenya, one in the US, one in the UK. All the three results are complete and conclusive that Ken Okoth is the father of our clan's son. This matter now marks the end of one question. Who is the biological father of that child? The next phase now is to decide, after this, what are the entitlements of this child under the succession law and by consent, which I've already given members of the media, we shall be move, moving to the High Court to deal with the question of uh, who is entitled to get the school fees, the education, the medical needs of this child, and that will be dealt in the High Court. But thank, thank you. There is no any other contrary DNA results.